YouTube show and I'm Steve and today we're going to show you how to load the uh, label stock in the Godex EZ2250i and the EZ2350i and, and as always we're going to have the bad photo ID of the day at the end of the show so stay tuned for that. Um, before we get started on the how-to segment of this I wanted to, sh to let you know a little bit about this Godex uh, 2250 and, and 2350i uh, the difference is the 2250i is 203 dpi and it prints at seven, seven inches per second. The 2350i prints at 300 dpi, which is a higher quality, a little bit higher quality, but it's also slower at five inches per second. Um, so you get a little less print density um, with the faster one, but you, but you get more speed. So it has an industry leading uh, three-year warranty. Nobody else in the industry gives you a three-year warranty on their label printers and it also includes six months on the print head and if you get the optional cutter that is also a six-month warranty. This printer has a color LCD display for easy and intuitive operation. It's an all-metal enclosure um, so it's very solid, very industrial strength and it's the best value in its class. Call us, you won't believe how low the pricing is. Um, so now we're going to get started on the how-to segment is how to load the rib, the label stock in this Godex printer. And I have Douglas from our tech department to show us how to do that. Thank you, Steve. All right. So the first thing you want to do is open up the top. Um, when you get in there, the labels won't be in there, but when you get in there, you're going to see the rod in the back where these go in. You're going to want to see, you want them to go in label over top not label under. So label over the top. Uh, down here is a little guide where you're going to want to stick the label into and slide all the way over until it's kind of in its own size. Next thing you want to do is pull on this bracket and go back. That's going to pop up the print head. Next thing you're going to want to do is when you're pulling the ribbon, I mean the uh, cardstock through the guide, you're going to want to go through the sensor as well, which you can see. And it's not too hard to get in there because it is a pretty big gap. Um, and then once you get that in there, you can close up. Ahead. Okay, show them how you close that because I think it was it's hard to show that without blocking it. So right here this is gonna come up and what you want to do just to get it to close is just to push it down and it'll pop back in and then it, that's tight in there, it's not coming out. And then also back here, you're gonna want to push this down so it's blocking the cardstock, I mean the uh, ribbon, I mean the the label stock from uh, moving at all. And from there, you can go ahead and close the cover, and you're ready to go. All right. Thanks, Douglas. As promised, here's the bad photo ID of the day. And if you have any questions, submit it to us on our Facebook page. And as always, you can call us, 800-798-3343, or go to our website, idedge.com. Uh, give us a call.